Today I want to share with you three harmful hand gestures that will absolutely destroy any type of rapport or connection that you are attempting to create with someone else. So the first one is clenched fists. When you are communicating with someone that you want to build a connection with, that you want to create rapport with, that you want to like you, you never want to have your fists clenched because it signifies subliminally that you are ready for combat. It also makes your knuckles whiter and it causes your hands to become clammy. So if you have to shake somebody's hand after that, you're going to be giving them a sweaty palm, which is never a good thing. The second gesture you always want to avoid is the steeple gesture. I'm sure you've seen this before. So this gesture signifies smugness and arrogance. It signifies to the other person that you believe you are superior to them. So if you've ever watched the show Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, he uses the steeple gesture all the time. Well, in that situation, he's an alpha male, right? He's got a lot of money, he's a billionaire, he's a star on the show, and the people there are basically there to pitch him to ask him for their help. And so he's in a position of dominance in the context of that situation, and he likes to display that. He likes to do that, right? But if you're not looking to do that, and you don't want to come off that way, you want to avoid this at all costs. The last gesture that you want to avoid, which might not seem so obvious, is putting your hands behind your back, okay? Now, I've talked in other videos about how crossing your arms shows defensive body language because what you're doing is you are covering up your vital organs the heart the lungs and the stomach so whenever you cross your arms when you're having a conversation with somebody no matter how innocent it might be you are sub subconsciously telling them that you are in a defensive mode and so i always say to use open body language where your arms aren't aren't crossed but the polar opposite of that is when you put your hands behind your back because what you're saying is, I have nothing to hide. I'm showing and bearing all of my vital organs and I am inviting you to attack them because I feel so sure and confident. Now, there is a caveat. You can use this when you are in a room or a setting surrounded by power players who are attempting to force dominance on you then it's a good idea to put your hands behind your back to show them you're not concerned or afraid of them in any way. But when you're having a casual conversation with somebody and you're on the same level as them and you want to keep that rapport and connection going, you want to avoid that.